today I've decided to do another glue test and today's test will be gluing plastic to foam uh, both foam with and without packing tape on it. So you can see I have some XPS foam here uh, some Dow Cladmate uh, ins rigid insulation foam. I have some Dollar Tree foam board both of these without packing tape on them and I have some XPS with packing tape and some Dollar Tree foam board with packing tape. So those are the four things that I'm going to be testing. And I'm going to be testing using the small, here I'll, I'll demonstrate to this camera, the small uh, pin horns, uh, control horns. Um, I found these to be really good uh, when working with uh, Dollar Tree foam board. As you can see, they can actually go in through the foam board all the way and you're able to put this little latch on the other side and keeps them nice and uh, nice and firmly on there. But what I have is a problem. I've used these on a couple planes in the past using this uh, this Dow Cladmate uh, foam board. And what you get is, as you can see, the pin doesn't quite go all the way through. So if your glue isn't correct, what will happen is that this will come loose and you'll lose control. So, uh, that being said, cue the footage of the FPV44 KFM4 airfoil, uh, the bad flight. So as you can see on this flight, um, I launched, I, I, didn't, I didn't notice the control surface that the, uh, the horn had come loose and during the flight it wedged its way, it didn't wedge its way all the way out thankfully, but it wedged its way out far enough that when I tried to use my up elevator on full, I was basically just maintaining level. Um, and that in combination with the, the, other, um, the other Elevon, the other control surface uh, moving the way it was, you know, I just couldn't keep control of the plane. Now luckily, as you can see, I, the landing wasn't too bad. It, um, I hit the ground. Uh, the plane survived. The, this uh, this Dow Cladmate is pretty tough, especially when it's covered in packing tape. All the electronics survived. Everything was good. I re-glued, uh, re-flew the same day, and it was fantastic. I mean, the thing it, it was night and day different. So, lesson learned: using the correct glue on these kinds of things is important. Using enough glue is important. Um, that being said, I'm not sure it's it, these are my uh, my horn of choice anymore um, for using on the thicker foam. Now on the thinner foam, they're still fine. There are, there are some issues with how rigid they are or how rigid they're not, um, but that depends on the size of your plane. So let's get on with the test. I'm going to test three different types of glue today. The first type of glue that I'm going to test is the Elmer's Ultimate glue. Um, that's similar to a Gorilla Glue, a polyurethane-based glue. You can see here. And uh, that's, that's in general my favorite for gluing things to foam, but we'll see how it works plastic to foam. Uh, the second is my trusty pink hot glue gun. Um, again, I, I used this on these two types of foam before. Uh, it seems to have pretty decent results. We'll see how it works with plastic to foam. And the third is some Hobby King 15 minute uh, mid cure epoxy. There you go. And we're going to see how, how that works as well. So I'm going to try all three of those. Now, this could get pretty interesting because I don't think I have enough of these, these out. I should need to do all the combinations, 12 of them. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to mix up the epoxy. Now the epoxy is just a 50-50 mix. I'm going to mix up a good chunk of it, probably way, way more than I need, which I always tend to do with this stuff. And you can see how accurate I am being when mixing the epoxy. And I like to just use a toothpick to stir it up, and then I use the same toothpick to apply it. So give it a good 
good stir. I'm a little bit of a leftover cold here, so I've got the sniffles a little. Apologize for that. There we go. We give that a good mix now. In theory, I've got 15 minutes. I know I've got a little less than that. So I'm just going to make a little slit. Slits in the foam where these are going to go in. I'm going to slather a little bit of epoxy on each of these. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. Now I originally thought about doing some hybrid tests as well because I mean I know there are certain things that certain glues stick better to but I think I'm going to keep this all as simple as possible. So there we go. Number one. <laughs> Again, not terribly scientific about how I'm going to test this. I'm going to come back in 24 hours and I'm going to see whether or not um, how, how firm I think each is holding. So Now I'm not going to put the clamps on the bottom because to be to be fair because the, as soon as you put the clamp on the bottom it becomes a whole different ball game. You're not talking about the glue sticking to the plastic and the foam or to the um, to the plastic and the packing tape, you're you're talking about the added uh, security of of the clip. So, I've got a funny feeling that these will not be reused. So, well, for the greater good of science, I need to do this experiment anyway because I have a number of these planes now that that have these kinds of things on them and I, and I worry about it, especially as you noticed in the FPV 44 footage you know that could have been a lot worse that plane could have been you know a couple hundred feet in the air it could have flown off course who knows it could have nosedived I could have lost all my electronics okay so here you can see you can see how much epoxy I've wasted a ton wish I had a, a scratch build going on right now that I could use that on. Anyway, I'll put the caps back on the epoxy. Now, this epoxy, I've probably had this for more than a year. So it really... What the... What am I doing? Um, it really sticks around for a long time. It really... It's good. It's good stuff. Um, what next? Let's make four more holes. The center one is going to be hot glue. I'm going to have to remember where these are. Of course, I've got video records, so... Let's do this with hot glue done. Let's just adjust that camera just a touch. Lighting could be better in here, that's for sure. Yeah, that'll be one of my projects this summer. Update the lighting in the dungeon. Okay, there's the hot glue all applied. Now, three more. And this is the Elmer's Ultimate. Now, usually the Elmer's Ultimate slash Gorilla Glue is one that I, that I like to use on foam. However, I know on some of my tests where I'm sticking things 
and there's packing tape involved, it's not necessarily the best glue. So the question is, is the plastic on the foam going to be strong enough to overcome the, the weakness of the plastic on the packing tape? So I usually have a spray bottle that I use for this, but I'm just going to use a little water for my finger here. Probably bring, whoa, that is way too much. This glue expands. But just like a real build, if everything was 100% scientific and precise, it wouldn't be realistic now, would it? One more. Huh. Wow, that shows you just how much extra I'm using that glob on there. Well, that's a lot of glue. I mean, if I was doing this on an actual model, and I had this show there, this much glue left, I would uh, I would probably scrape it off. Right? Scrape off the extra so that it, it looks a little bit better. But for this test, that's fine. So there you go. There's my four test pieces, each with the three different glues. Now we let those sit for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till tomorrow at the same time. And then I'll come back down and I'll test these out and see what's strong and what isn't strong. I can already see that lifted off a little bit. Um, and uh, that'll be the end of it. There's, there's other applications for these, these tests as well. I mean, I've got these little plastic hinges. Right? I need to know what glue is going to work best with these in foam or on packing tape. I'm, I've also got... Uh, these little wing protectors uh, go on the underside of your wing for landing. Um, again, glued in. I mean, it looks like they could be screwed in as well, but for my purposes, they'd probably just be glued in. So what's going to keep them on the best? So I'm hoping to get some good information out of this that I can use uh, for my future scratch builds and, and even to safen up some of my current builds. All right, take it easy, and I will see you in 24 hours. Alright, I've decided to do another test um, in addition. I've decided to do some foam safe CA. Let's keep this quick and easy. Uh, my tube of medium CA unfortunately has uh, sealed itself up at the top, so I'm just going to use the toothpick to slather some on. Okay. Get out the kicker. Now, once I apply the kicker, I have less than eight seconds to actually get this in. So, one, two sprays of kicker. Put it in. I'll hold it in place for eight seconds. This is really an option if you want something uh, quick. If you want to fly the same day, if you want to fly in ten minutes, uh, the Foam Safe CA may be an option for this. So that's why I want to add it to the test. Not everybody's going to want to wait 24 hours. And I've always found that this stuff sticks better to your skin than anything else. Alright, so I'm quickly going to do up these other three. There we go. My fingers are covered in glue. Those can go with the other samples and uh, we'll do the test maybe in half an hour or so after I have a coffee.
It's been 24 hours since I first applied the glue to the foam and packing tape. Um, I also did a small additional piece where I uh, did a test with CA. So now we've got four types of glue. We have the Hobby King 15 minute epoxy. We have foam safe CA medium plus kicker. We have Elmer's Ultimate, also uh, very similar to Gorilla Glue, a polyurethane glue. Okay, there we go. <laughs> no, the audio wasn't out. Um, hot glue gun, of course. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do this completely non scientific. I'm going to just try and pry them off and, and see, see how they go. So we're going to start with the CA. I'm going to just adjust this camera here. And initial CA on packing tape. Seems pretty good, but it did come out. And it came out, you can see they're fairly clean. The glue seems to have stuck fairly well. Uh, to the plastic, but the but it did not stick very well to the EPS foam underneath, and it didn't stick well to the packing tape. So would I say to use this? Probably not. Okay, so let's try. We're we're going to stick with the the packing tape on EPS foam. The next I'll try is the epoxy. It's definitely more sturdy than the CA was. In fact, I gotta really rip at that. So did you see that? Or you, you heard it, I'm sure. It actually ripped foam out when I ripped the epoxy. You see how there's more foam on there? This is, this is a good choice. Epoxy, uh, when you have packing tape on XPS foam, that's a good choice. So, so far that's, that's the front runner. Now the hot glue. Well, here's, here's what we know from previous experiments. Hot glue to packing tape works great. See how it's pulling up on the packing tape? Maybe get there. It's really pulling up on that packing tape. Now it's already come out of the foam. So the bottom line is if you're covered in packing tape, the hot glue to the packing tape is good. Uh, the Foam, we'll find out later how, how the hot glue fares. Okay, now the Gorilla Glue. It's pretty sturdy. And it came out now. Here's what I've noticed before with the Gorilla Glue. You see how you've got a complete piece of Gorilla Glue there and it didn't stick to the packing tape? So we've got, uh, we've got some interesting combinations here and we'll need to wait until further. Now the only one that didn't come off, even with uh, fairly significant pulling, you see how, how I ripped the packing tape, <clears throat> was the hot glue. But I don't think the hot glue stuck the best to the foam. So we're going to wait, reserve judgment here, but, but on packing tape in foam, the hot glue is as good as anything else. The epoxy, I think, was slightly better than the Gorilla Glue and the CA was the worst of the bunch. So now let's move. We'll move these over. Move on to CA, um, no packing tape. Well, that was pretty pointless. Now, if you look at that, let's see, I don't know which camera might show this the best. Well, this one maybe. You see the foam actually did come away. So the CA stuck really well to both the plastic and the foam, but it came off really easily. So I can't endorse that. I, I just, I mean, it may have been my testing, but that came out way too easily. So let's try. Now this is epoxy. Epoxy on EPS foam. Oh, that's good. See, I like the epoxy. 
Now that was much harder. You see it took a bigger chunk of the foam. You see how compared to the CA, the CA just, just took the surface, the epoxy took it way down. And you can see chunks of foam on either side of this. That's a good solid, that's as good as you're going to get with just foam, I think. Let's try the hot glue. Not bad, not bad. Again, a big chunk of foam. Not quite as big as the epoxy took out, but a, but a good chunk. The hot glue on, the, on the, the foam wasn't bad. Epoxy so far is winning this race. Now let's check out what the Gorilla Glue does. Now in my opinion, it, it's pretty solid in there. The real test here is how well the Gorilla Glue is going to stick to the plastic, because we already know what it does to the foam. Well, that was interesting. That was the hardest of all of them to pull out, but it didn't pull out a big chunk of foam. You see how actually the Gorilla Glue is still, still there. So I'm not quite sure what conclusions to draw here. Let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. I think all of these solutions were pretty good with the exception of the CA. The CA came out easily. These other three were all pretty good. So on straight foam, all three of these worked really well. I would say the epoxy and the Gorilla Glue were the top two runners. The hot glue was number three and CA was number four. Okay. So now we're doing Dollar Tree foam board with packing, packing tape. CA. Well, that was useless. That was completely useless. Okay, epoxy. Not great. I mean, it was harder than the CA to get out, but it still it came out pretty easily. Hot glue. And again, you get that hot glue to packing tape. It was a little harder, a little harder than, than the epoxy. It didn't stick quite as well as the, uh, the hot glue did over here. And now the Gorilla Glue. Okay, so for this one, Dollar Tree foam board with packing tape on it, either hot glue or Gorilla Glue. The two of them were pretty close, but once again you'll see that the Gorilla Glue came off in one big piece, meaning that it really didn't stick that well to the to the packing tape. You can see the hot glue here stuck to the packing tape really well, but didn't stick that well, oops, it's this one, didn't stick that well to the plastic. All right. Okay, so now we have CA. Uh, this is straight Dollar Tree foam board, no packing tape. Again, the CA, it's interesting. You see how much foam it took away. But it was really easy to pull out, which almost tells me that, the, that maybe that CA is destroying the foam a bit or something. Epoxy, Dollar Tree foam board. I had to pull fairly hard to get that out. I mean, considering the strength of the, this, this foam board is nothing and it took away a whole pile of foam, I think that's probably not a bad solution. Hot glue was a little easier than the epoxy, uh, but it still took away a good chunk of foam. Gorilla glue. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. It's harder to pull the Gorilla glue away. Harder to pull it away. Okay. So, conclusions. Conclusions. Probably not what I was expecting. Let me tell you what I was expecting to find. I was expecting to find in most situations that the epoxy would win. Uh, I was expecting to find the Gorilla Glue to do fairly well on the straight foam, but I wasn't expecting it to stick well to the plastic, so I thought it would fall down. I thought the CA would stick better than it did. And I knew the hot glue would stick to the packing tape well, and I thought that it would stick to the foam fairly well. So, if I'm going to do this with a model without packing tape, the winner was Gorilla Glue, in my opinion. 
Um, and second to that, the epoxy seemed to be second best on the surfaces that the EPS foam, I, I believe the epoxy was second best to the Gorilla Glue and then the hot glue. CA didn't win any of the battles. On foam board, foam board covered with packing tape, none of them did well. None of these did well. Hot glue probably did the best, but it didn't stick. It didn't actually stick. I don't know which of these it is, but it didn't stick to the horn. So if you're going to do foam board, packing tape on foam board, and you're going to use these types of things, make sure you put the little clips on the other side and, and glue them on. Because otherwise, you're in for misery. And finally, the foam board, the Dollar Tree foam board, uh, without anything on it. The epoxy ripped it clean out. Um, it was hard to, to rip out. The hot glue worked pretty well, and the Gorilla Glue worked pretty well. The CA didn't work well at all. So I would say the Gorilla Glue was probably the best here, and a toss-up between epoxy and hot glue for second best. So there's the bottom line. Uh, I know it's kind of hard on from the camera to tell how hard I'm actually pulling on these things to, to get a good feel for it. Um, realistically, when you're attaching these things, you, do, you don't want your plane to fail. Um, like I said in the first part of the video, these, these guys, these little, these little guys here, they're not necessarily my favorite. Um, I have used them on a pile of planes because they're easy. Now, if you can, if you're using it on something like a, like a thin foam board or a three millimeter Depron or something, you can get them right through. You can put the clip on the other side. You're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be okay. If you can't put the clip on the other side, I don't really trust these that well. But, but if you did some sort of hybrid, some sort of hybrid solution using either epoxy or, or grill and a Gorilla Glue here, I'll, I'll get in, uh, get in close to this camera. <clears throat> Use epoxy or Gorilla Glue on this portion that goes into the foam and then somehow manage to do hot glue around the top where it's going to interface with the packing tape. So say you put epoxy or Gorilla Glue on here, you put a little dab of hot glue, boom, you shove it in. The hot glue attaches to the packing tape really well and the Gorilla Glue or epoxy attaches to the foam really well. I think you'll have a fairly secure seal. So that's going to be my solution. Uh, for for those planes that I don't want to retrofit with a different kind of horn um, But that's specific to horns this this test is is about what sticks to what uh, Hopefully I've gone through that a little bit hot glue sticks really well to packing tape Gorilla glue and epoxy sticks well to foam. They all seem to stick fairly well to the plastic I won't say great um, the ridge there's little ridges on this plastic that help out if this was a a smooth plastic it would probably be a little bit of a different story and the CA uh, as I've found a lot in the past was almost useless to me uh, anytime I've tried to use I guess I should look at the camera anytime I've tried to use CA um, I, I've been disappointed I mean I, it goes back to those old super glue commercials with the guy holding the helmet and he's stuck to the the beam you know, and bonds for seconds with amazing strength. I've never, or bonds in seconds with amazing strength. I've never really found that. The thing that CA seems to bond best to is my fingers. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope that uh, this has given you some information, some, some things to think about as far as uh, what glues. I encourage you to do your own testing. Um, it's not worth losing a model over using the wrong glue. Uh, these results may not apply to things like EPO or EPP. Uh, certainly using hot glue on some of those may melt it, may melt the foam and, and may not work very well. Certain types of CA are going to melt the foam on those. Um, the Gorilla Glue seems to work, Gorilla, I keep calling it Gorilla Glue, the Elmer's Ultimate, the polyurethane, seems to work pretty well on across all foams. Uh, it doesn't stick very well to the packing tape. Uh, maybe a little, uh, it's, it's, your mileage might vary depending on what plastic. Uh, how it sticks to that. The epoxy is pretty good all around, sticking to the foam, sticking to the plastic. Um, 
and sticking to the packing tape. Uh, hot glue is the best for sticking to the packing tape. Anyway, take care. Hope it was helpful. If you've enjoyed it or learned something, please like and subscribe.